What's up guys? Today I want to talk about magic. Specifically, I want to talk about books. Books that are great for learning magic. I'm talking about books that are good for beginners. Books that are for more advanced. I'm talking about books that I personally recommend and that I've actually purchased myself. That's how you know it gets the Jason Parker stamp of approval. Okay, but seriously, what's in this box is all of my most important magic books. As you may know, I'm living in Ukraine, so I had my parents ship these to me from Texas. It took about five weeks, but they finally arrived. Thank you, mom, dad, I appreciate you. So today we're gonna do the grand unboxing of this box with the magic books. <laughs> Alrighty, let's dig in. Packed very carefully. Thanks again, I appreciate it. This side camera is just for my parents. Book number one, presented in random order. I'm gonna show you all the books I've got, just kind of pulling them out in random order. But don't worry, during this video, I will definitely point out which ones I think are the most important, especially if you're a beginner. I'm talking to you. And the first book is... Expert Card Technique by Jean Hugard and Frederick Brow. I'm quite sure that I'm mispronouncing those names. Comment below to correct my stupidity. So if you're a magician, you already know that this is a highly recommended book. If you're new to card magic, this is a little more advanced. This is not one of the first books I recommend for you. Proceeding with the next book, we have got... What's this little beauty? What's inside of here? Two books for the price of one. We have The Magician's Handbook. Maybe I should show it over here. Is it easier to see there? Huh? That camera is so far away, I literally can't tell if this is visible. What a quality production! So yeah, The Amateur Magician's Handbook by Henry Hay. This is also a recommended book by magicians. I guess I should say a little what's inside of these books. I mean, this is pretty obvious. This is expert card technique. It is what it sounds like. Whereas this one, The Amateur Magician's Handbook, is a good beginner book and it has a whole variety of different types of magic, not just cards. Next book. This is Cog that I bought at Illusionist. A little tiny kind of specialty book. It was some kind of mind reading thing. Yeah, pure mind reading methods for think of a card. Anyway, this is one of those books that I bought but never quite ended up reading, so I don't really have too much to say about it. Next book. Oh, this is a big one. It is, ah, from Joshua J. Magic, the Complete Course. This is definitely a great book for beginners. I bought it just because I thought you know, even as you learn a lot of magic, sometimes you go back to the basics and you can discover some great pearls of wisdom, some nuggets, some tricks that are really enjoyable, even if they're simple. Plus it's like a big like color printed book and it comes with a DVD as well. By the way, I'm gonna put links for all of these books in the description below. So if you wanna help support this channel, you can click on my Amazon link and I'll get like five cents. Smash like. All right, proceeding with the next book we have small one. Ah, this is by David Stone. Close up. How about over here? Is that a better angle? Can you see the cover better? This is another one of those highly recommended books by magicians in general. If I remember correctly, because it's been a while, this book is about close-up magic, obviously, but he speaks about his experience doing table hopping at restaurants. Let me double check that. To become a first-rate close-up performer with this indispensable guide, a gold mine for hints for the pros, learn the real secrets of magic. Anyways, I was reading this last time, I don't know, five years ago? It looks like I got about halfway, assuming that's my bookmark and not just a random card that fell into my stack of books. Anyways, I do remember enjoying this book, so be sure to check that out. David Stone, Close Up, The Real Secrets of Magic. Next book. Ah, now we have one of my favorite magic books of all time. I just realized you probably can't see this at all. How about like that? No? Let's try the other camera. Boom! I don't know if you can see this at all. Let me get closer. Ooh. 
There we go, Roberto Giobbi's Card College Volume 1. This is probably the best place to get started learning card magic. I highly recommend this book, it's my favorite. It's a little more expensive, somewhere around $25, $30 maybe. And there's actually five volumes. I had volume one and two sent to me by my parents. I'm sure three, four, and five are great too, but I think this is enough material for now. And even when you just open it, you get these cool diagrams that show you all the terminology for the different parts of the hand or the different parts of the deck as they will be referred to in the book. Lots of good content in here, highly recommended. What is next? Only time can tell. Aha, a big chunk of books. So the first one is The Royal Road to Card Magic. This is where most magicians will tell you to start. For me, it's kind of divided between these two books. I actually started with this and started learning some great magic here. I love this book. But for me, I felt that some of the techniques in this book were a little bit better, specifically the overhand shuffle control. I like the description of that better in this book. But I really don't want to say anything bad about the Royal Road to Card Magic. In fact, it's actually a great price. If you check my link below in the description and check it on Amazon, you'll see it's something like $15. It's an excellent value for getting started with card magic. So personally, my recommendation is to start with this one and then if you're really enjoying it, maybe get this one to help with your education. Proceeding, next thing I've got is Everything I Know About Marketing Magic by Maxwell Murphy. It seemed like a cool topic to me at the time, although I actually haven't had time to even open it. But who knows, maybe if I read this book, I'll figure out some way to actually make money with magic such that I don't need to quit this YouTube channel and go back to work as a software developer in a year from now. But who can predict the future? Not you, not I. Please smash like so I can continue making YouTube videos. Every smash like helps. Anyways, if any of you guys have read this book, I'd be curious to know what you think. I'll get to it eventually, I suppose. Although I just had 20 magic books mailed to me, so I suppose I'll have to prioritize which ones go first. Proceeding with the book extravaganza. Next we have Creative Magic, Learn to Spark Your Creativity by Adam Wilbur. This is a small little book here. There's Adam. And uh, yeah, this is another one of those books that I have never actually cracked open, but here's a view of the inside. Yeah, this one sounds really interesting also, just never made time to start reading it before. Added to the pile. Next book by Aaron Fisher, The Paper Engine, Tension, Focus, and Design in Card Magic. Now this is a book that I remember reading a lot of magicians recommending, which I guess are a lot of my books, but especially this one. I remember in a lot of discussion boards, people keep recommending this one. There's the back and the front again. And here's a quick view on the inside of the book. If you look at the table of contents, you see that he's teaching stuff like the gravity half pass, and then there's a magic trick, and then a half pass variation, a magic trick. The one-handed popover, another magic trick. So you're learning a bunch of moves and you're learning a bunch of tricks to use the moves in. Again, I actually haven't read this book, so I'm just speaking from the concept of the book and letting you know books that I actually bothered to spend my money on. All right, all right, all right. So many freaking books. Okay, we have Tangled Web by Eric Mead. I saw this guy perform before at the Texas Association of Magicians and he is an excellent magician. He has a great, funny, entertaining stage presence and does strong magic. So naturally, I wanted to pick up a book by him. But as you can see, based off the cellophane, I actually haven't opened this one either. Story of my life. Anyway, this is a nice hardback book. I say it's nice because it looks nice. Next book. All right, now we've got an appearance from Roberto Giobbi again. Remember his other book I recommended, Card College Volume 1? This is Card College Light. It's basically self-working tricks. So it doesn't require sleight of hand. These magic effects operate based off of principles. So it could be mathematics or something totally different. And the beauty of these kind of magic tricks is that you can learn it, you can kind of relax and you can just focus on your presentation and focus on interacting with the spectators. Plus, plus, I always think it's a good idea to have 
some magic tricks that require sleight of hand. And then if you have that one guy who kind of knows a little bit about magic and he's really burning your hands, then just slip in a trick where you show something that requires no sleight of hand, but it uses the principle. He'll be watching your fingers, but he won't see anything and it will just blow his mind or her mind. We're equal opportunity here. So yeah, here's the book. It's another hardback book. Oh, and here's a little bit of the inside of the book. Okay, it looks like we're about two thirds of the way through the box. Let's keep going. What could it be? Again, I had these shipped to me five weeks ago, so I actually don't remember exactly what's in here. And, ooh, this is a really good one. This is Strong Magic by Darwin Ortiz. Creative showmanship for the close-up magician. Highly recommended! This is one of those books that all magicians recommend you read. It's about your performance. By the way, this is what would qualify as kind of like a theory book. There are some magic books that teach more like, here's one trick, here's another trick, just a big list of tricks. Whereas there are other books like this that focus more on the theory of magic, how to be a better performer, how to do misdirection. Yeah, just skimming through the table of contents, you have stuff like part one, the effect, clarity, conviction, part two, the character, talking about your character as a magician. Because remember, the magician is an actor playing the part of a magician. All right, you've got part three, the act, structure, unity, variety, part four, the audience, attention control, assistance, hecklers. And yeah, it's basically a big book and just a lot of text. There's no magic tricks you're gonna be learning in this book. But that's actually a good thing because there's a lot of important things you need to learn to present your magic well. I only got a third of the way through this book before I was reading it during my lunch break at work when I was a software developer. But yeah, I'm excited to finally finish this bad boy. Returning to the box. We have, looks like a couple books. Ah, another one, just like this Strong Magic book. This is Maximum Entertainment by Ken Weber. Director's Notes for Magicians and Mentalists. This is another one of those theory books. This is about presentation, psychology, how to communicate with the spectator. I don't wanna just kind of go on and on repeating myself. You're not gonna learn magic tricks in here, but you're gonna read through here and you're gonna become a better magician. I'll also put a link to this in the description below. And I'm gonna go ahead and like categorize these books as like here are the theory books, here are the best ones to start with. I'm sure I'll organize it in some nice way. Just go ahead and expand the description section and check out what I list there. Now we have 13 Steps to Mentalism by Corinda. I don't know why I did that. Like, hey guys, that's a book about mentalism. Yeah. So this doesn't have the dust cover. This is just the hardback book normally has a much cooler cover. But yeah, this is a great place for beginners who want to get started with mentalism. I've searched on many discussion boards and lots of magicians all point to this book as a good place to start. I myself predominantly do card magic, but it's great to make yourself more well-rounded. So yeah, that's the book here. And I'll show you a little bit on the inside. There's the guy, Corinda. And if we flip through here, Basically, as I remember it, he's describing techniques and gimmicks and things you can use, but he's also teaching a lot of effects in here. Actually, the funny thing about this book, it's uh, copyright 1968. So this book's like 50 years old now. And as I was reading through it, I was just thinking some of the writing style is kind of dry. Like sometimes the author has a very clever sense of humor that made me chuckle, but other times it's just very dry and factual. And my little secret is that sometimes, uh, although I enjoy the content, I was reading this book when I get in bed at night just as a way to knock myself out and go to sleep quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for me it was like dual purpose. A, learn mentalism, and B, just make myself go to sleep after 20 minutes. I had the problem before where sometimes I would stay up super late reading a book like Game of Thrones or The Name of the Wind. Excellent book, you should check it out. Link in the description below. Why not? Yes, I'll put the link in the description below. This whole video is one huge advertisement for you to look at the description and click on the links. I swear if 30 people click on my links, I'm gonna make one dollar. That'd certainly be worth the seven hours I spend editing this video, right? Okay, enough complaining, at least for now. So what was I saying? Yeah, I could stay up until 
four or five in the morning reading those fantasy fiction novels, but this book just for some reason just like knocks me out. So use that information how you will. It's definitely a good, useful book, but I'm just warning you, it's a little bit dry. It's the last book. You made it this far. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. And into the box, we've got... That's right, I don't only do cards in mentalism. I'm also doing a little bit of coin magic, even though it's something you pretty much never see on my channel at all. But this is a great place if you want to get started on coin magic. Everybody recommends this book. And it's gigantic. Look at this beast. Here's the back. Modern Coin Magic by J.B. Bobo. Show you a little bit of the inside of the book. A lot of diagrams, a lot of text, a lot of learning to do. 509 pages of learning to do. That's a lot of learning. Alrighty, so that's all the books in the box. Pretty sure. Wait, wait, there was one more book. Almost didn't see it below this false bottom. Thanks, Mom. Anyways, this book is The Annotated Erdnays by Darwin Ortiz, author also of the book I showed you before, Strong Magic. So basically, this is The Expert at the Card Table. That's a very famous book for card magicians who want to raise their magic to the next level. It's like expert level playing card magic. And this is essentially that same book, but it's gigantic. It's a huge hardcover, and it has been annotated by another expert magician. So <laughs> there's uh, Darwin and his cat. Smash like if you love cats. Smash like if you love dogs. Smash subscribe if you want to see the inside of this book. Did you do it? Okay, I believe you. All right, let's take a look on the inside. We've got, there's basically the book in the rectangular part here, and then his annotation is on the sides over here. So anyway, The Expert at the Card Table is a highly recommended book for card magic, and now you have an expert magician basically taking you through and giving you his thoughts as you study the original text. All right, so as far as this book, you can either buy The Expert at the Card Table itself, which is much cheaper, or you could buy this annotated Erdnays, which is what I did. Actually, I have both of them at home. But I'll put a link to both the original and this annotated version in the description below so you can choose which one you want based off of your budget or whatever. So that should actually be all the books. Yep, that is it for the books. Those are my Domino's napkins down there, in case you didn't see them. And yeah, now I'll just give you my overall thoughts. If I had to choose just a few of these books to recommend to you, they would be... Number one, The Royal Road to Card Magic. I know I said before that some magicians will choose like coins or mentalism or card magic, but I really do feel like any magician can be well served by learning card magic. Because even if you are performing a mentalism effect later, you could use a deck of playing cards to do some type of mentalism effect. So this one is probably number one because it's such a good value. It's like $15. Next, I would recommend Roberto Giobi's Card College Volume 1, a little more expensive, sitting somewhere around 25 or 30 dollars, but just as good if not slightly better than the Royal Road to Card Magic. Then I would recommend for a theory book Darwin Ortiz's Strong Magic. But of course if you're just starting out in magic you probably just want to learn some magic effects first and then get into the theory side of it because well I believe you'll be able to appreciate the material in here better after you've already learned to do a few magic tricks. And then if you want to get into coin magic you probably should have this as some kind of reference guide. There might be better places to start with coin magic, maybe some DVDs, but Anyway, this one's always highly recommended. There's a lot to be learned in here. It's a gigantic book. Look at this thing. And of course, if you want to get started with mentalism, I would recommend The 13 Steps to Mentalism. Warning, it might be a little bit of a dry read and difficult start, or perhaps an easier path might be to learn via DVDs or streaming videos. But I just mentioned it because it's a highly recommended book in the magic community. 
And if you were looking for somewhere really super easy and friendly to start, perhaps Joshua J's Magic the Complete Course. And or if you wanted to give this gift to a child, this would be a lot better. It's more colorful and engaging for a young mind. But these are going to be kind of more beginner level type of things. Beginner magic can be powerful though, if you present it well. So yeah, those would be my top recommendation books. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed coming on this book journey adventure thing with me. I'm really excited to have all these books in my flat in the same country that I'm living in. For the last four, four and a half years, I've been outside of the USA and I haven't had access to any of these books that I spent money on accumulating over time. And anyways, it's really cool to have a magic library so you can dig in and learn some new stuff. People always say that learning through a book is like a different style of learning because it engages your brain in a different way. They say it requires more creativity because you're just reading the words and you have to paint the picture in your head versus only learning from video. I don't know. I think I probably enjoy learning from video more, but I think reading books shouldn't be neglected either. Ideally, you should have both, right? So yeah, these are the books that I own that I was willing to spend my money on. I'll really try to do a good job organizing this below into different categories so it makes it easy which one you want to get to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, smash like. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And actually, I do a whole lot of like magician reaction videos. So if you subscribe, you're probably going to see a lot of that too. Just click down here on my name and you'll go to my channel homepage and I've got different playlists for me performing magic, for me reacting to magic, magic tutorials, and then videos like this, whatever this is. Videos about magic books. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Keep it real, keep it fresh, and I'll see you next time.